Let go of the little distractions. Hi, I'm Tony. And I'm Wes. You're watching Sonosphere. Red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum. Would we play Glastonbury? Would we play Glastonbury? Well, well hmm. hmm. Well, I doubt we will ever be invited. But if we are, sure, we would be gr grateful to uh, accept the opportunity. The opportunity. I think two or three of our core fans would be mad. Why would they be mad if we played Glastonbury? Because they're Glastonbury haters. New songs in the set tonight. Probably not. And it's hard to do that at festivals, you know. It's not hard to do it. We just don't like to do it. We like to keep some sort of... Uh, Momentum and, and 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 keeping people stimulated, you know, as a whole. And, I mean, uh, sometimes we get a case of the fuck arounds and like to throw in some covers and mess around a little bit. But I don't know. Our set, we've never played a set, and we've never written a set and then stuck to it. And we never played a set the same. We have a problem. I'll make the set list about 15 minutes before we walk on stage, and then these guys go, "What are we playing?" And look and. And then sometimes it doesn't sometimes feel right. Sometimes it doesn't feel right, and we just change it. Like a coach would change plays for a football team, depending on which way the defense is kicking their ass or not. I don't really listen to that much rock and metal, um, and and it's everything's pretty saturated with so much music now. You know, it's that it's sometimes it's difficult to keep up with what's happening outside of I guess my little microcosm of what I'm listening to in the bands that I'm exposed to. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I tend to, the older I get, I tend to drift away from listening to a lot of metal music. Because, like, I don't know, in some ways it's just repetitive and I'm not sure if anyone's doing anything uh, incredibly different. Where we are with our new album is... It'll be out next month. That's and what we say every most time. Most likely it'll be out next year. No, it'll be out this year. Okay. But um, we're in the process of, uh, we're, we're, we see the finish line ahead, and we're really happy with how it feels and sounds. It's unique, it's very different. Not something that's going to have 10 nicely wrapped up songs that one of them hopefully makes our new set list, because no one wants to hear that. So we made this record for the reality of it all for us and something we uh, we were interested in doing. Yeah, and kind of there's sections of the record that are songs and then sections of the album that are more of a, of a thought flow where we didn't care about structure as much. So some of some things just have five different ideas in one section and aren't really, with, with none of those ideas being a complete song.